Hi everyone, this is The Working Man. Uh, today I'd like to talk about a few things uh, with the uh, AHP Alpha TIG 200X. This is a 2016 model, but uh, the 2015 and 2016 are very similar, so this uh, what I'm about to talk about will um, work for both. And uh, what I wanted to talk about today is uh, uh, CK hand amp control. Um, used in conjunction with the uh, Alpha Tag 200. Now, CK doesn't make this hand amp control uh, compatible with this welder. And uh, what I did was I went out and I uh, got a CK hand amp control compatible for a Lincoln six pin uh, setup. Now, the Lincoln uses a uh, 10K ohm potentiometer, just like uh, the HP welder does. And um, both the AHP welder, even though it's a 7-pin connector, only uses 5 wires out of the 7. Just like uh, the Lincoln 6-pin only uses 5 wires out of the 6. So, what I did was, um, I uh, had... The old foot pedal, because I recently updated from the old uh, foot pedal that came with AHP to an SSC control. Um, I uh, made a pigtail for that. Let me just unscrew this thing and uh, get a close up here for you guys to see that as well. I made a pigtail to work um, by uh, cutting about a foot off of the old pedal and then I cut the uh, the Lincoln 6 pin off. I'll show you what that looks like as well here and uh, we'll put this down. This is what normally comes with the Lincoln 6 pin. So I just cut about, you know, uh, 12 inches or so off of it. Now, like I said, this is the original uh, connector end that came with the, the original foot pedal. So I just cut that. I made a pigtail using a six-pin Deutz connector. Uh, this is a female end on here. And then I put the male end onto uh, the CK side of the uh, torch here. So you got a nice little pigtail. And then if I wanted to go back for whatever reason and use the original foot pedal, I can still do that by just plugging this in here and plugging this back into the machine. Now with uh, with this seven pin, like I said, it only uses five wires out of the seven, but two of the pins are soldered together. That's as per uh, SSC's wiring diagram that they provided with the foot control, which is I'll just show you that here, which is the uh, two of them are soldered together. For what reason? I don't know. I tried to uh, find a wired diagram on the AHPs and I couldn't come up with anything. So, like I said, I uh, reverse engineered the foot pedal, came up with all the uh, color codes, pin numbers, and uh, resistances. And then uh, I did the same thing for the uh, hand amp control. Got all my uh, pin numbers uh, that work with the Lincoln and uh, color codes that CK uses with this style hand amp control and uh, put them together and came up with something that's compatible with the AHP. Now I'll give you a close up of this uh, hand amp control. This is what they call uh, the track uh, control. There's many different uh, controls out there so this is what I just happened to come by. I got a great deal on it from off of eBay brand new from a guy 90 bucks so you can't go wrong there it, it's not bad it's a little you know but it, it's a great addition because not all the time can you you know have access to be able to use a foot pedal really comfortable you know if you're uh, working under a car or on a motorcycle or you know like me sometimes you gotta use the floor and you just you know you, you crouch down and you, a foot pedal is just not gonna work so this, uh, this works really well. Uh, I've tested it quite a bit. 
over the last uh, few days, and uh, it works out great. Uh, you have it full max, it'll show up on here all the way to full amperage, so, and uh, it's really turned out good. Now, actually, the reason for making this video is CK, like I said, they, they don't offer anything for the AHP. SSC is the only one I've found that's offering any kind of aftermarket foot pedal for this machine, and um, I've emailed a few uh, manufacturers out there and never got a response back since the AHP is becoming a really popular welder and uh, you know I feel that this is a great addition to this welder so if you're if you're interested I came up with uh, you know a little cheat sheet here for you guys so um, here you go Let's see if we can get that in there good The Lincoln's there, the AHP, the uh, pin. Lincoln uses, you know, uh, alphabetical pins, and AHP is numbered pins, and you go from there. Now, actually, if most likely if you bought anything with this six-pin Lincoln uh, setup, you could use the alphabetical um, pin codes even though they're different colors, it would most likely will work. Now, I'm not guaranteeing anything. You, you, you do this at your own risk. I know it works with this particular model for a fact, and it works great. And if, uh, if I was to buy another one, I would just go buy this pin code to my uh, AHP pin code and colors, and I would be fairly certain it would work great. So that's just one of the things I wanted to share you with today. Um, if you have any questions, you know, feel free to leave them in the, the comment section. I'm going to leave a couple uh, places where, you know, the CK uh, tracks are available through, you know, weld.com, CK uh, Worldwide. There's also other hand amp controls out there, such as uh, Arc Zone, and they're really nice. It's kind of a different uh, rotary knob setup instead of this track setup. But I'll leave that stuff down in uh, the description links, and you can go and check it out. And uh, like I said, if you have any questions in regards, just hit me up. Thanks, guys.